Hi, I'm Natasha Clark. I'm The Sun's digital political editor. I'm joined here by Alexander Brown, our political correspondent, to talk you through what's been going on with the election results so far. So the exit poll has got Boris Johnson on for a huge stomping majority of 86 seats. So he's basically going to be able to push Brexit through and get on with all the things he says he wants to, the NHS, putting more police on the streets uh, and everything else he's promised in the election campaign. However, it doesn't look great for Labour. Uh, they're basically predicted to lose about 70 seats, putting uh, Jeremy Corbyn on and, uh, and the Labour Party on for their worst results in about 40 years. So it's not looking great for them at the moment, is it, Alex? It's been a disastrous night for the Labour project. John McDonnell and Jeremy Corbyn are both facing calls to go. The Labour Party is going to have to have a real look at itself in the coming days and decide whether it wants to continue to be this far-left party or whether the likes of Keir Starmer, who kind of grinned and, grinned and bared it really, will stick around or whether they can you know, go back to be leading the party and taking it into a direction that is electable. And Jeremy Corbyn has got to go tomorrow, hasn't he? Like him and, him and McDonnell are basically, you know, there's no way they can come back from this. This is the second election result they've lost in a row. They've both got to go. They've lost two general elections. They've lost a council uh, election. They have, they haven't, well, he's, he's not won anything. Uh, Alan Johnson was on the television earlier saying that he, you know, he couldn't win, uh, he couldn't win anything. Uh, he couldn't negotiate his way out of a paper bag, I think he said, which is a fairly damning comment from uh, you know, a key Labour man and one of the great big beasts of when Labour were an electable party. Yeah, absolutely. And we've already got um, the Tories have just taken Blythe Valley from uh, La the Labour Party. It's been a solid Labour seat for years. Um, they're on track to do so with other seats like Bishop Auckland. Uh, you know, Boris Johnson really is going to be breaking down this red wall, it looks like, uh, so far uh, in the results. And the thing with Blythe Valley is it's one of those seats that they did, the Tories didn't even expect to get. It was so far down the list of Tory target seats, the tactical voting websites, you know, the, the Remain leaning sites, didn't even have it, didn't even offer guidance on how to vote because they just presumed it would be going uh, Labour. So with that, with that falling, I think we're going to see a flurry of further shocks through the evening. So we could actually even have an even bigger Boris, Boris Johnson majority than actually we're predicting right now if they continue to make these gains in places that they weren't even expected to gain, uh, according to the exit poll anyway. Absolutely. I mean, I, I, you know, we've, we've both been out. We've been in constituencies, uh, both marginal and, and, you know, those considered safe seats. And when you knock on doors, Brexit is not necessarily the issue. It has been Jeremy Corbyn. People don't say, I believe in Boris Johnson or I believe in Boris Johnson's policies or that of the Conservatives. They say, I don't like Jeremy Corbyn, I don't trust him and I can't be voting for the Labour Party. And that's, I mean, that's held up. The polling all showed that. Uh, David Cameron told Jeremy Corbyn to go in his final, <laughs> his final speech. Uh, and that's looking a lot more prescient uh, as the minutes uh, and seats continue. Mm. And it's not looking very good for the Lib Dems either, is it, as well? We've basically, Jo Switzer's only predicted to pick up one seat, which is pretty damning, and, and she's actually predicted to lose her own seat as well, which means that we probably could see the Lib Dem leader stepping down and have, a, have another leader you know, within a few weeks, a few months. Well, with that, I think Labour, Act, Labour uh, emailed their activists uh, earlier in the day saying they had to go to target seats such as uh, Chiwetel Chukwumano was running, you know, former Labour MP, Luciana Gold, Luciana uh, Berger, Luciana Berger, um, and, and the, you know these seats which, the, which they need the Lib Dems to win for Labour to have a chance of winning majority, but they've gone after them as you know these are the great seats, go for them, go for them. Well, they don't have a seat, they have a chance at all, and it looks like uh, they've campaigned on spite rather than actually trying to you know, form a government. Yep, and we're looking for seats like Wrexham, um, seats like Sunderland have just come in, uh, some more red wall seats expected in the coming hours, uh, and then Boris Johnson's seat will be in a few hours' time.